one of my most dramatic scenes, I think, in the book was when I went to see Klein nine months into the presidency at the low point of the Biden presidency. Uh, Build Back Better, you remember, and <clears throat> the bipartisan infrastructure deal were twisting in the wind. Uh, Biden went off to Europe without empty handed, in effect, he went to the Glasgow Climate Conference without anything to show for it. He had said, Biden himself had said at that time that the fate of his presidency depended on passing these bills and they were dead in the water. I went and saw Clay in that weekend, that Saturday, and we sat on the patio outside his West Wing office and he told me he was considering resigning. This was nine months in. Long story, he decided to stay uh, because he wanted to see Biden through the midterms. And what he did, which only a White House chief of staff can do, is he sat, the, the president wanted to go everywhere and talk about everything, he wanted to brag about his record. Um, Biden sat him down and said, Mr. President, you're going to go to the states where we think you could do the most good. And number two, you're going to talk about women's reproductive rights and the threat to democracy from MAGA. Well, Biden followed that script, and the rest is history. He defied the odds in those midterm elections.